Hello, it's Beryl again, and today we're playing The Sims 2. Now Skanky Shev has been shopping for groceries and now she's at the library. That's right, she's coming to the library to have some fun. We're going to try and get her fun levels up set. But she's a bit tired. Now here she comes around the corner and she's walking towards the library and she nearly trips over the in-ground lighting. She does. Now what are you doing, Skankies? So she's going to just stand there and look at the door and think, I don't like the door, it's very medieval and I'm really hungry. Okay, we well need to stop complaining and go over there to the outdoor food court while we show the people watching this video the outside of the building. Now, as you can see, it looks like an old brick building and also the roofing specialist decided not to come back so they didn't finish off the toilet because there was a shortage of plumbers and also other people during the COVID lockdowns. So they couldn't come back, so they've just left it with the roof open. So when it rains, people can drown in there if they close the door. So now Skankies is waiting for her giant pancakes with maple syrup. And she's saying, where the hell are my pancakes, my giant pancakes with maple syrup? This service, this service is terrible. Now, these are not very nice. These are not very nice gluten-free, lactose-free, sugar-free and flour-free giant pancakes. They were made with dust and held together with a bit of spit. If they're very dry, I don't like them. You need to start using some potato flour. And as you can see, everyone's at home because it's midnight. And that was really quick. She shoved the whole lot down her gob and now she wants some social activity. Now she's doing the New Zealand haka again, hoping she can get someone's attention, but it's not working. So now I want her to head inside and meet some people and have some fun, not into the corner of the wall here, inside the door. Yes, now you can have some fun on one of these computers. Yes, okay, we'll sit down at the computer and have some fun. You can play a game. Look, you can play a game. Play The Sims 3. Yes, The Sims 3. It's a very good game by EA. It is. It's got realistic 3D photorealistic graphics. It has. So sit down at this old compact computer from 1998 and play The Sims 3. Yes, that's right. Take the CD-ROM out of the CD-ROM. That's right. Take the CD disc out of the CD-ROM. Oh, look at that. Isn't that amazing? The graphics are incredible. But she doesn't think the graphics are that good. They're not like her computer at home. She's trying to get the right, just the right angle of viewing. And she's having some major trouble. She can't see it properly because they're using a Matrox Millennium graphics card from 1995, I think. Yes, it's not a very good graphics card, is it? It's not exactly in the video. No, it's not. Obviously, this computer needs a new graphics card. It's a bit slow. I can't even see what colour the shoes are I'm putting on my sim, she says. I'm going to have to go to a physiotherapist or an osteopath to adjust my neck after this because the viewing angle just isn't right. It's almost like I'm having a seizure trying to view the screen, isn't it? Look at it. If anyone saw me, they'd be giving me their epilepsy medication. Yes, they would. This is just terrible. The mouse isn't working properly because it's got a tracking ball instead of a laser. This computer's so old, no wonder it still works. It is, it's so old. It must be a Pentium 2 processor. Yes. It could have at least been a Pentium 3 and it would have been even better still. But no, it's a Pentium 2. Now, I'm bored now, she says. I need more fun. So I think you should play another game, Skankies. What's this game up here? Play another game. Now don't get up from your chair. Play another game, love. Sit back down, that's right. And play another game, yes. Now she does that, while well, she plays a game, we'll have a look around. See, now downstairs you have a toilet, and then upstairs is another one with a shower. 
but it's got no roof, so you have to be careful not to close the door because if it rains, you could drown. Yeah, now I've got some computers over there too. And there's two people over by the vending machine. And two men by the looks of it. And what are they doing? Oh, he's trying, trying to give the other one a cuddle. And he goes, no, sorry, not today. No bum fun for you today, mate. I'm not into bum fun, so he's disappearing. And the other one goes, well, that's very homophobic, isn't it? It's not very good. So he's going to get some Diet Coke from the vending machine or some Diet Pepsi, depending on what they sell, and he's going to drink that on his way downstairs. Now Skank has gone outside and she's discovered a witch. And she thinks, oh my god, you're the witch from the Wizard of Oz, from that 1930s version, aren't you? She says, is it true what they say? That if I throw water on you, you'll melt, you'll shrink, just like in the movie. Because I'm going to have to give it a try and see if she shrinks. You know, the movie that has Judy Garland in it. She says, let's see. Have I got some water? I think I have. I've got a can of water here somewhere. There we go. What's happened? She didn't shrink. You're supposed to say, I'm shrinking, I'm shrinking. What's wrong with you? You're not a real witch, are you? And I've seen that pussy somewhere else. I've seen the glowing pussy somewhere else. I know that pussy, she says. You're that pussy from the reanimator movie from 1985, aren't you? The one that they reanimate in the basement at the beginning of the movie. Yes, you are. I remember that. You're the reanimated zombie pussy. You stay away from me, she says. Now, she's disappeared somewhere back inside, has she? What is she doing? Is she looking for cockroaches? Well, I think she is. Yes, yeah, she's looking for cockroaches. You're going to kill some cockroaches. I think you need to go to the toilet, love. Don't worry about the cockroaches. It's not your house. You need to go to the toilet and take a massive dump. Yes, you do. You need to release some tension. Yes, you do. So go take a massive dump in the toilet and then you can have a coffee at the cafe. You can to keep you awake, to get your energy up a bit so that you don't fall asleep before you go home, love. This is our little cafe. You can see there are two fridges. There's a normal refrigerator and one with juice in it. And there's nobody at the cafe because it's past midnight. Yes, it is. In Simville Central. Well, this part's Simville Court, where the cafe is. Fancy a library being open after midnight. As you can see, there's some nice pictures up on the wall of food to make you hungry. Now, where have you got to, Skankies? She must be constipated. Oh, that was she's run out of toilet paper. Oh, no, here she comes. Did you just have the bowel claps from hell, did you, love? You must have, it took you long enough. So now she's going to the cafe and she's going, G'day, mate. Can I please have a soy chai latte that's gluten-free, lactose-free, with no sugar and low-fat chocolate on top, thank you. And he says, oh, certainly, I've got one right here in my new cappuccino machine that we bought from Kmart for $69.95, including goods and services taxes, yes. And she says, well, it better be. It better be good. She goes, because if it's not really lactose-free, I'll report you and I will sue this cafe. So it better be good. So now she's going to sit down or stand over there or sit down. What are you doing? You're sitting down. Yeah, she's sitting down and drinking her, her soy latte. So she's finished her soy chai latte that's gluten-free and lactose-free without any sugar and with low-fat chocolate on it. And now she's going to order a different one. She's going to order a soy chai cappuccino with no sugar and this time it's got cinnamon on top she goes oh that's amazing i like the first one was really nice actually i hope this one's just as good i haven't tried a soy chai cappuccino with no sugar and with cinnamon on top at a restaurant like this before so as you can see she's got a few shakes going on here through lack of sleep sleep deprivation thank god she's not a surgeon maybe we can give her a rest on one of these 
uh, Sophie's over here. I know we can't, she just has to lounge. That's right, because it's a community lot, she can't go to sleep on the couch, no. What about this couch? Oh no, that's the same, isn't it? Well, that was really bright of me, wasn't it? The same kind of couch that we just looked at before. And of course, it's got the same options, hasn't it? Yes. And I'm not blonde anymore either, so there's no excuse for that. Now, let's have a look. What are you doing, Skankers? Where are you going? I think by what we can see in the upper left-hand corner of the screen, she's going to try and kill some cockroaches. Here she is. This family are absolutely obsessed with cockroaches. Don't just tramp on them, love. Spray them. Spray them with your aerosol spray. And she says, look, I don't have any cockroach killing spray. All I have is my fluoro paint in green that I use to create my green screen for when I do my videos on how to be a chav and how to paint your eyebrows on. You see, it's my green screen paint. There's so many chemicals in it, though, it might just work and kill the cockroaches. And she was right, it did. She thinks, geez, if it kills the cockroaches, I better not touch the green screen behind me. It might get into my skin and I might die. Now she's still hungry and thirsty, so she's going to go back up to the cafe and get another time for drink because she hasn't tried them all yet. Now I think you need to call your friend Sonia, who's also a chav, and get left back home soon. And this man here, who looks like he's dressed from a Star Trek Comic-Con convention. Yes, he does look like something out of Star Trek, does he? Doesn't he? By the way he's dressed. Now he's going to go and see where his girlfriend's got to. She's been talking to Skanker Shav. Now she's angry and wants someone to beat up because she's missing being in her girl gang. So here she is, she's going to ring her friend Sonia and say... Hey Sonia, this place is really, really crap. I don't like it. It's really boring. I need to go home. So can you pick me up? Because there's no boys here. And I'm bored out of my skull. So she's very upset that she's bored out of her skull. And that there's no men around much. Except for the one upstairs that she thinks might have, might have been gay. So now she's going to go back up to the cafe. And order another drink. To try out another type of lactose-free, sugar-free uh, drink. Yes, she is. And she loves the pot plant because it's a really nice decoration with no flowers, just a plain pot plant. It's very nice. Isn't it pretty? There's another pot plant up there. Oh, look, there's someone else in the cafe. So now she's going to order a new drink. She goes, hi, can I please have a soy-free, oh, sorry, not soy-free, I want a lactose-free, sugar-free, milk-free hot chocolate with cinnamon on top. And he says, sure, I've got one right here that I just prepared for you because I'm psychic and I knew you were coming back up again because my coffees and my drinks are so amazing. So she sits there and then she drinks her drink and then she immediately makes the coffee cup disappear because she's a thief. She likes to steal things. She's a bit kleptomaniac. Yes, she is. She's a bit, she's a bit of a thief, she is, our skankers. So now her friend, Sonia, did not come pick her up. Instead, she called a taxi for her. And skankers is, is running because obviously the drink did not just have soy in it. It must have been cow's milk. So she has to rush to get home before she pops her pants. Yes, that's right. So she needs to hop in there and now she's going home. So I think we'll leave the video there for today. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and like. Thank you. Bye-bye.